Elon Musk has a lot to say about everything, but especially hydrogen fuel cells, or as he described them recently, fool cells. In May, Musk said hydrogen is the most dumb thing I could possibly imagine for energy storage. The electric car maker Tesla Motors CEO has been vocal about his controversial dislike of hydrogen tech. In a mischievous Twitter comment on April 1st of this year, Musk announced that he would introduce Tesla cars that use hydrogen fuel cells. It was obviously a clever April Fool's joke, but it goes to show how little he rates hydrogen cells. Musk has called hydrogen fuel cells everything from staggeringly dumb to silly, but there is far from a universal agreement with his opinion. Elon Musk knows his batteries. He builds them to propel cars and trucks at one bookend to grid-scale behemoths that store and stabilize electrical power for hundreds of homes and commercial enterprises at the other bookend. So even if there are divisive reactions to his hydrogen opinion, it is worth something to explore whether or not he is right or wrong about hydrogen cells. Could he be? Volkswagen Auto Group CEO agrees with him. Volkswagen Auto Group CEO Herbert Dice made the statement that hydrogen cars are bad for the earth. He and Musk are in agreement on this. In the tweet, Dice wrote, the hydrogen car has proven not to be the solution. Electrification has established itself in traffic. Sham debates are a waste of time. Please listen to the science. Ever the Twitter presence, Musk sent out a response tweet that said, Dice is right. Hydrogen is a staggeringly dumb form of energy source for cars. It is barely worth considering for a rocket's upper stage, which is its most effective use. In this statement, Musk didn't really dive much into the reasons why hydrogen is a bad energy source for cars, but his sentiments have always been obvious. Elon Musk has repeatedly stated this in old interviews, where he outlined why it doesn't make sense to utilize hydrogen. There are various reasons to agree with Elon Musk. The Handelsblatt report that Dye cited shows that a new study from the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research, or PIK, has concluded that hydrogen cars are not the way to achieve climate neutrality. Instead, scientists who performed the study indicate that battery electric cars, or BEVs, are more sustainable and can be a more environmentally conscious option for those who are concerned about their car's emissions. The report further built its point by stating, Rather, direct use of electricity would make more economic and ecological sense in the coming years, especially in the passenger car sector. It is also criticized that new hydrogen-based fuels could keep combustion technology alive longer, which in turn would ensure continued dependence on fossil fuels and thus further greenhouse gas emissions and endanger the climate targets. Such fuels as a universal climate solution are a bit of a false promise. While they are wonderfully versatile, they cannot be expected to replace fossil fuels on a large scale. This can only be achieved with direct electrification. Dice, who has become one of the most vocal automotive frontmen in the industry in support of electrification, has led Volkswagen to become one of the major OEMs in the transition to EVs. Toyota, a foremost hydrogen cell user, agrees. For years, Toyota has been betting on hydrogen fuel cell over battery electric vehicles for its zero emission vehicle strategy. It put the Japanese automaker behind in the electric transition in the industry. Now, Toyota admits the Tesla CEO Elon Musk, who called hydrogen fuel cell incredibly dumb, is right. Yet the company is still heavily investing in the technology. For most people, the physics of fuel cell vehicles make little sense compared to battery-powered vehicles. Between hydrogen production, distribution, and storage, a fuel cell vehicle ends up being just a third as efficient as a battery-powered vehicle getting its power from the same grid as the electrolysis plant making the hydrogen. The entire process is just extremely more complex than a battery-powered vehicle. The refueling speed is virtually the only advantage of a hydrogen car. You can refuel a hydrogen car in about five minutes, while a battery-powered car can take hours to charge, and even the fastest system takes over an hour. But the gap is getting closer every year and hydrogen cars can't be refueled at home, while any electric car can charge overnight. That's the argument that Elon Musk and most EV enthusiasts bring forward when comparing the two technologies. Surprisingly, Yoshikazu Tanaka, the chief engineer in charge of Toyota's Mirai, already admitted to Reuters that plug-in cars make more sense. Elon Musk is right. It's better to charge the electric car directly by plugging in. But Toyota chairman Takeshi Uchiyamata added, We don't really see an adversary zero-sum relationship between the EV or electric vehicle and the hydrogen car. We're not about to give up on hydrogen electric fuel cell technology at all. They want to keep pushing the Mirai. 
which has been a poor performer. They only managed to sell a few as compliance cars in California despite the generous incentives. He is not wrong that the two technologies don't compete. They don't compete in the minds of potential customers, but they compete for investments from automakers, and those investments lead to further development and production for one or the other. It becomes clear when you look at automakers who have been heavily investing in hydrogen cars, like Toyota, Honda, and Hyundai, and see that they have become laggers in the EV space. The sooner they give up on hydrogen, at least for passenger cars, the sooner they will be able to divert those billions of dollars in investments into battery electric vehicles. I say passenger cars because Toyota is also working on hydrogen trucks, which makes better economic sense. But for passenger cars, it makes no sense based on efficiency and economics, which makes it hard to understand why some automakers are still pushing so hard for it. Musk and Dyess have both turned out to be right in a large extent. Hydrogen cars make up a minuscule portion of the market, and that is probably being generous. The reality is that a few hydrogen cars have made it to production. The Toyota Mirai is one example of a hydrogen car that made it to production. The Mirai is still being sold for the 2021 model year, and it doesn't look bad on paper in certain aspects. It got a 7.5 out of 10 rating from Car and Driver, and it appears to be a large spacious sedan. However, the Mirai has many downsides, such as the fact it only has 182 horsepower. The Mirai also starts at almost $50,000. The hydrogen fuel cell station infrastructure for the Mirai is based in California. It seems owning a Mirai requires the buyer to live in California. This proves that hydrogen can't be mass-produced and distributed like electricity, which is deeply entrenched in our everyday lives. On the contrary, one advantage of hydrogen-powered cars is that they can be fueled in less than five minutes. Yet for that positive, there are two big negatives that handicap the benefits of blue hydrogen and leave it with a significant carbon footprint. Green hydrogen is too expensive right now. It is clear that hydrogen falls short, but at one time it had a lot of promise. There were a lot of people who thought that it was the future. Something else to think about is whether hydrogen could have gone farther than it did if more resources were put into it. None of the major players, which include people like Elon Musk, are too keen on making hydrogen-powered cars. Therefore, hydrogen cars will probably be seen as just an attempt at diverting away from fossil fuels. According to Rystad Energy, an affordable and greener hydrogen fuel industry, which is now expensive, will be too little too late. By 2050, only 7% of global energy will be hydrogen to service a niche industry for fueling aviation, shipping, and metals and chemical factories. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Also click on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Do you think Elon Musk is right about hydrogen cells? Leave your answer in the comments section below. Thank you.